You're looking and looking and looking and looking, nothing you see. We checking, we checking, we checking, checking, checking for the money be. Yeah, we on that. Shh. Niggas know me, we on that. Shh. You don't like it when we on that. Shh. We be balling, we on that. Shh. Yeah, you hate that. Shh. Niggas know that you hate that. Shh. I hear you cry, you ain't that. Shh. You never be a real nigga like. Shh. Uh, we pay back power. We pay back squad. Uh, they know that it's me. Uh, we stay pussy them see. Rah. We'll bring that to you, do a nigga wanna play, motherfucker, get on the... Show but the, he's obviously a self no, Go back the to the... Jab the yeah, but a, go back to... A, don't show the one, no, don't show this one yet. Go back. This is the real speed. Oh, okay, Sorry. all right, now watch. This is a jab all right, so he gets hit, he gets knocked down, right? Yeah. Okay, right nobody, jab, looping, left hand. Okay, nobody's asking any questions. Fight's over. Ref's uh, waving not a off. great opponent, but fight's over, right? Right, mm. no, but nothing to be skeptical about. Nothing to, uh, you know, to to say anything about. Other than not the big best opponent in the world. There's right. Joey Gamash, who's a good trainer. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing there that's that's fishy or anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Not really. No. No. <laughs> not no. Yet. All right. Now let's go and look at it. Probably like a, a little closer little than somebody else might yeah. look at it. Right. Okay. We are the forensic. <laughs> uh, boxing show of oh, oh, CSI. What is that called? Uh, CSI, the forensic show? Yeah. Well, we have an element of Otto C Wallen's going to throw a... Okay. Just a glancing no, no jab. Oh! oh <laughs> looping left hand. Oh, what? <laughs> Ken! He appears to miss him by like good two or three inches. Ken! Does not... <laughs> <laughs> Ken! You can't even make this up. Can't make this. That would be a bad shot for look, a movie. Look, look, look. Maybe three, four inches. He wouldn't get a job as a stuntman no. in a Rocky movie. No. I mean, well, he could. I shouldn't say that. He could get a job, but they would have to redo it. Yeah. Because we they would to have to reshoot that scene. You clearly didn't even come close to hitting him. Reshoot that scene. What I want to know is because that's too obvious, yeah. right? So he basically like just falls over from the well, like, what, thought no. of getting punched. No, well he takes a dive. <laughs> I mean, why, why are we looking for the words? Yeah, Trying Ken, Ken, let's watch. See the feet. I want to see if his feet get tangled. Like, how does he even go down? No, well, no the he jab makes doesn't himself. land. Wait, how does he go down? The jab. But the, but the punch don't land. He goes down because. That was his intention. <laughs> that appears to be the case. So, have we seen an old opening of Koriander and here comes the team? Oh, good left again. It's like a there's no return here for the normal. No, but I think he's calm. Look, he's like... 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 Bara på kraft där. Får vi fortsätta? My, my, mycket bra av Aldo tycker jag. Han ser lugn och sansar ut. 10 sekunder kvar då. Ja, då var det över. Ja. Vilket mer vill denna domar se och det håller jag med i. Publikum eh, sätter pris på det de såg. Aldos sjätte match, sex segrar. Och nu firar han också absolut ett mycket bra steg på vägen till, till, till att bli yrkesman. Ja, det där ska han vara väldigt nöjd med. Och han var lugn och sansad och, och sådär. Det är... Ser den fina höjer över. Ja, ja. Han, har, han har väldigt, väldigt mycket boxning i sig. Han är väldigt rörlig också i, i, för att vara så stor. Och han är en riktig karaktär, ska man komma ihåg. Det kommer att bli roligt när han är uppe i titta fighter. Han är, han är, han är, han är, han är jäkel på att snacka. Han är till med varje mig. Han är till med varje mig. Han är till med varje mig. Han är Aus Schweden, Aldo Kolljander.
ny overbevisende seier da. Ja, sender en liten hilsen til... Takk, Stortgaard! Hallo, Stortgaard. Dette er karakter, annars blir det trist. Yes, welcome to my boxing pod. My name is Aldo Kuliander and uh, I'm from Sweden. I'm a heavyweight boxer with 18 fights and six KOs and three losses. Uh, and uh, I've not had a promoter. I've always taken my, my fights by myself and it's been going pretty well to be honest. I racked up 18, 18 fights and uh, I fought some of the best in the world. All the big champions, ex-world champ, ex -world champions, ex-European champions, and some of them I beat and some of them I lost, and it was pretty in the beginning of my career. So, but uh, I want to talk about Tyson Fury and Otto Wallin. Uh, we know Otto Wallin pretty well from Sweden. You know, as an amateur, we know him pretty well, and uh, uh, his tenth fight was pretty fishy it was a dive fight his opponent took a dive and uh, I'm sure that uh, that has happened several times in his career so his record on 20 and 0 is fake and why is Tyson Fury fighting Uta Valin? why is not Tyson Fury the linear heavyweight champion fighting like uh, uh, Luis Ortiz or uh, Baby Gerard Miller or uh, Parker or uh, Chisora or, uh, or Ch Chisora he already beat two times or uh, Dylan White or uh, Dave Allen or any of these guys you know like uh, there are a lot of heavyweights out there you know like many Americans guys coming up and he's fighting in the States so why bring a like a, a totally unknown fake record like 20 and 0 put up guy named Otto Wallin from Sweden that nobody heard of and uh, never seen and uh, like never heard about and uh, has a very 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 dodgy record to be honest and uh, he's not that uh, quality of a fighter he's not even good enough to be sparring partner I tried to spar with Otto, Otto several times after I was gone when I came back and he didn't want to spar with me it was like two times I called him and uh, I was supposed to fight a softball but he he didn't want to fight with me he said no you know he started like talking a lot of crap about he's doing other stuff and them you know stuff like that so for me Otto is not a real real uh, real real boxer and uh, Sweden knows this they know this pretty well and they know me and I'm not talking about racism or nothing, because I'm 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 not born in Sweden. I'm born in Senegal, but I came to Sweden when I was eight, and I've been living in Sweden 30, 33, 34 years old, uh, 34 years now. So, but how come Otto is getting these fights, and uh, you know people are like standing by Otto, like Otto would be some kind of savior. Otto is not a savior, you know, and I think it's embarrassing for Tyson Fury. To fight a guy like Otto, Otto and uh, this Tom Schwartz, this type of guys he's, he's been fighting, he should have fought somebody like me or you know, stuff like that. But uh, boxing is fishing nowadays. You can see on uh, Ted Atlas show on uh, or Ted Atlas boxing scene or something like that, he has a boxing pod that he does on YouTube where he shows in this in Otto's 10th fight where Otto hits a guy in the air and the guy goes down and, and fake to be knocked out and this is just one time that we've seen but I know it has been occurring several times in the sport of uh, boxing and I bet in Otto's uh, career he has uh, gone on for for a while he was with Sauerland so Sauerland should know something about this yeah and this is Sauerland he should know and this is a nice guy but now boxing is getting dirty and uh, the right opponents are not fighting the right guys you know like uh, if you see Anthony Joshua he's been like uh, mashed up uh, pretty heavily till he fights a guy like Ruiz you know Ruiz is yeah Ruiz is good but uh, he's fast and stuff but 
it shouldn't be the three time or three title holder world champion like Joshua and we saw what what happened so what I'm trying to tell you is that the boxing is fishing nowadays and the promoters who promote it and the TV networks who are showing this this fight they are they are they are killing the sport of boxing real talk they are killing the sport of boxing and uh, I hope that the uh, I don't know if I hope that Otto will win but uh, but I hope that uh, you know boxing gets gets cleaner and uh, right the right guys should fight the right guys because Otto Wallin and Tyson Fury is not the right type of fight doesn't matter if he gets money they talk about 100 million dollars that's bullshit how can a shitty fight like that make 100 million dollars people must be overly stupid to buy a fight like that overly stupid to buy a fight like that so we don't know Uto for nothing in Sweden. For nothing, we don't hold, we don't know him for nothing, and uh, that was my computer. We don't know him for nothing in Sweden, and uh, to be honest, I respect him as a fighter, but uh, I respect him as a man, but not as a fighter, because I've called him out several times, try to fight him, and uh, you know he's been ducking and diving, you know, like duck, 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 duck every time, sparring, everything, duck, 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 duck. duck. So for me, like, you know, I, I've kind of given up, you know, I'm not, uh, the other day I told the reporter, stupid guy too, who's, 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 who I've been talking to for several years, you know, like several years we've been talking boxing on the telephone, we see each other sometimes on, on boxing events and stuff, he's been following me in my career and stuff, but you know, these guys, you know, they, they write negative stuff, you know, on knockout punt, uh, dot DK, DK. If you go in and translate, you can see they say Aldo Colianda has, has quit. I told him because I I felt like you know these guys they're not genuine. You know they they want something something that is not uh, that is not clean inside the boxing. You know they, they want bullshit and uh, you know they say yeah yeah this is a good money fight. Let him let him take the fight and stuff like that. But this this is not good for Swedish boxing. This is not good for the amateurs coming up. This is not good for the Federation of Sweden. This is not good for nothing that has to do with boxing in Sweden. This is only bringing the sport down because people will go over to MMA or kickboxing or Muay Thai or stuff like that and start watching those fights because they give you more quality action uh, than uh, boxing does. When you see a fight like Tyson Fury and Uto Uto Alim being promoted, it's like. It's like the biggest joke. It's like uh, you, you bring in uh, Charlie Charlie Chaplin against Mike Tyson. You know, it's, it's it's bullshit. So I get pretty angry when stuff like that happens because you know when you've been fighting all your life and you know you you waited for for your time to to shine and for your time to like rise to the occasion and you know they 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 dribble you. You know on the court and, and bringing a guy like Uto and you know like the rankings of box in box rank are fishy you know guys that are beat like they are ranked before me doesn't matter if they have fight you know they have to look into boxing much 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 more because they are like you know I've been fighting a guy who has nine fights and four bums are ranked before me and stuff like that you know a guy who's been on like off 10 years comes back and gets gets ranked before me just just because beating a bum in a four rounder. So all this point system that they have on box rank, I know that they say boxing that doesn't matter. It's the governing bodies who are who are who are like playing a major role. But box rank needs to be checked up too because boxing is fucking up the the boxing game. And for me, like uh, I have respect for boxing before, but uh, now in the last days, I've, I've seen how how the ranking has gone and how like the numbers on internet are, are being like you know dodgy changed and stuff like that they're putting new regulations and you know like uh, federation has more to say about boxes and stuff so it's just bullshit it's, it's all bullshit I'm not I'm not depressed or nothing but you know people who knows real boxing like manager promoters and stuff like that they know what I'm what I'm talking about and this ain't taking us nowhere. This ain't taking boxing nowhere. This ain't taking Sweden nowhere. It's just like making us look totally stupid. Like, you know, fake boxing, fake records, fake fights, fake KOs, fake. Everything is fake. Utuvalin is fake. That's just what I want to tell you. 
Otuwelin is fake and I will beat him any single day he want to. Even if I've been gone for 10 years, I will beat Otu. And Otu knows this. His trainer knows this. Everybody knows this. That's why they keep him away from me. And all the other guys on the on the Swedish boxing scene, I will I will beat them. I will beat them. For sure I will I will beat them. So let's get it on. You know? I'm ready. Let's go. Bring the fights. Bring the money. Let's fight. You know, don't hide behind managers and promoters and reporters and talk a lot of shit. Act like, you know, you are something that you ain't, you know, that you've been doing something that you haven't been doing and cheating and, you know, stuff like that, you know, it's, it's bullshit. That's just what I have to say. Otto Tyson Fury is like the biggest bum fight of the last 200 years, to be totally honest. I'll leave you to that and go to Teddy Atlas, the guy who was training Mike Tyson, Teddy Atlas, uh, uh, show and he will uh, he will show you and I will show you the clip too with Otto Wallin and his dodgy opponent one of them so we know what what we are talking about here so I'm a serious fighter everybody knows me as a serious fighter I, I, you know I don't I don't duck or dive you know when it's time to fight I come to fight and they know this and this is what they don't like and you know Otto Otto is like a dodgy fighter but they support the dodgy fighter because they think that he will be the next world champion. Well, if he will be the next world champion, then I'm the universal champion. You understand me? If he beats Tyson Fury, then I know myself Tyson Fury ain't got it. And I've always said that Tyson Fury is a clown. That's what I've always said. There's something fishy with that guy. Something mentally, you know, like, you know, fishy with him. So it doesn't matter how UK promoting him or stuff like that, you know. We who know boxing, we know that this is just bullshit. It's just like theater scene, and we are not we're not falling for that. You know, he while they beat him, you know, while they beat him, <coughs> he talk about you know like they after the fight they go talk about yeah, uh, you know I had uh, people leading leading me by ten rounds. You bum, how can you get knocked down two times in a fight and 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 still lead by ten rounds? Are you crazy? Do you, can you can you count the numbers? Can you count the rounds? And all the rounds was was even. Just because you are crowning around, putting out your tongue and and dancing in the ring doesn't doesn't make you a better fighter. You're a fucking bum, Tyson Fury. Otwalin too bum. You can bring it any fucking day. No, no, no. All right, now let's go and look at it probably so a little closer replay. than somebody else might yeah. look at it, right? Okay. We are the forensic <laughs> uh, boxing show of oh, oh, CSI. What is that called? Uh, CSI, the forensic show? Yeah. Well, we have an element of Otto C Wallen's going to throw a okay. just a glancing now, now jab. Oh! oh <laughs> looping left hand. Oh, at what? <laughs> Ken! He fares to miss him by like good two, three inches. Ken! Does not. <laughs> <laughs> Ken! You can't even make this up. Can't make this. That would be a bad shot for look, a movie. Look, look, look. Maybe three, four inches. He wouldn't get a job as a stuntman no. in a Rocky movie. No. I mean, well, he could. I shouldn't say that. He could get a job, but they would have to redo it. Yeah. Because we they would have to shoot that scene. You clearly didn't even come close to hitting him. Reshoot that scene. What I want to know is... Because that's he, too obvious, yeah. right? So he basically, like, just falls over from the, well, like, well, thought no. of getting punched. No, well, he takes a dive. <laughs> I mean, why, why are we looking for the words? Yeah. Ken, Ken, let's watch. See the feet. I want to see if his feet get tangled. Like, how does he even go down? No, well, no he makes himself... The jab doesn't land. I mean, how does he go down? The jab the, the, doesn't... The punch don't land. He goes down because... That was his intention. <laughs> that appears to be the case. You don't like it cause it's me now Nah Taking over the you see now I'm yeah. telling you taking over the you see Let's go You on that bubble gum uh, uh. You on that clown shit uh, uh. Are you stupid in a bitch? Uh, uh. Me. Are you stupid in a bitch? Uh. This be too hard uh. We come in with the squad uh. You not ready my dog uh, uh. You not ready my dog like we on that 
Niggas know me, we on that. You don't like it when we on that. We be balling, we on that. Yeah, you hate that. Niggas know that you hate that. I hear you crying, you hear.